some of it is really simple, uh, common sense. I ask them questions about their space, about if they got room to spread out wide, about if they got a lot of ornaments. But some of it's kind of, I watch their face. When I open a tree, I watch the woman's face, and I can tell if she's liking it or not. Even though I'm still asking questions, I'm really looking at their face to see, as I hold up different trees, to see what their reaction is. Well, that's most of it. The rest of it, I guess, is uh, years of experience. <laughs> I've been doing it for years, and, and uh, I can tell when people, <laughs> when people say five-footer, they really mean eight-footer. So when a customer comes up and I want to match them to the right tree, the first thing I ask them is, how tall are your ceilings? Because sometimes people don't factor in that trees get narrower at the top, and if they say six, often they are really thinking of a seven foot tree, or if they say seven, they might mean an eight footer. Then we uh, walk around until we find one that's just the right height, and we pop it open, shake it out, and take a look to see if it's what they're thinking of. When we finally say goodnight, I ain't going out the storm. <laughs> but if you really owe me time, all the way home, I'll be and I usually lead them first to a Fraser fir because they're generally the best trees, especially to use here in a New York City apartment where it gets so hot. And the Fraser fir, uh, while they are a little more expensive than the other varieties, they also tend to be the fullest and the most symmetrical of all our trees. Some people who've moved from farther away would prefer to have a Douglas fir, which is fluffier, bushier, and has a citrusy scent, a whole different style of Christmas tree. Ready? Yay! Merry Christmas from the Romp family. Come down to see us. We're on Jane Street and 8th Avenue.